they have put all of us in a database and soon they'll be giving out chips but not until the collapse and that's what I want to go into we talked about this the foes shall be they of your own household see something say something I'm gonna have you calling up saying that something is wrong with your family don't you know when you call government into anything that you and your family will never get out of the, go the government's crosshairs do you know that so people don't even know that they are actually setting themselves up by making that phone call because you got the government up in your house you think they're, gonna, you think they're not going to look into you too okay they're going to say, well, okay, it's, it might, it must, something must be unstable about you if you taught a child to be this extreme. Next thing you know, they're saying, well, listen, we want to, to bring him down for tests. And you'd be like, well, hold on, I just wanted him not to, to you know, take a trip outside of America. They'd be like, nah, it's deeper than that. We need to study him now. A matter of fact, here's some pills for him. Uh, did he get vaccinated? How many vaccinations did he get? Seems like this kid is out of order. Next thing you know, you and your family being drugged in, in the courts. This is how they do these things. So we are all enemies to them. Wake up, people. Christ says, your enemy shall be they of your own household. Now, I know a lot of people are just angry at me and others who are teaching the truth because they need someone to aim their, their anger towards. Okay? They can't aim it towards the Bible because they read the Bible everything we say is coming out of the Bible is 100% correct they can't dispute that so now they'll try to aim towards the person okay this is what they do now brothers and sisters watch this finish reading Matthew 10 and then I'm going to go into what's going on in London uh, Matthew chapter 10 verse 37 read he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Read that again. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. That's crystal clear. If someone have a choice between a mother or father in the Most High, the Most High wins out every time. And some mothers and fathers can't accept that. And if and another thing they do, if someone is following the Bible, they'll try to use some type of psychological work against them to say you following man therefore to get your libido up and say well listen I'm not following no man see that's another trick they use when the, it wasn't a man that convinced you you looked in the Bible and read those words those words convince you of the truth regardless of the man who was actually reading the word to you so they try to use that psychological trick the, the dividing conquer tactic to make you feel a little smaller than another person or you must be controlled now 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 listen they, then they use that psychological trip on you or you may be you must be under some type of control now oh so if I'm in control under the government I'm fine if I'm controlled by the Jehovah Witness there's no problem if I'm controlled by the Baptist Hey, Crepo Dollar, I'll give them 5000 a, a month. I'll let him grab me by the ankles and shake me dry. And no one would go against this man for shaking me dry. No one will say, well, hold up. That man is controlling you. So it's control. See, they try to use all these different tactics. Listen, brothers and sisters, the most high is waking the people up. And all you that are snitching and telling on people and doing all that, the most high going to deal with you. That's number one. And number two, the same people you snitching to, you are next. You are in their crosshairs. They know where you are. Thank you. You just let the enemy into your abode. We have another situation. Uh, another situation I heard way back when that one sister now listen to this one sister called DHS on her daughter 
to stop her daughter or her family from thinking about traveling abroad. Even though the daughter did nothing illegal to the child, the child was healthy, the child was eating, nothing was wrong with the child at all. The child was in a healthy uh, family, the child knew not to eat pork, the child was learning Hebrew, the child was actually very bright. Brighter than the children who are vaccinated zombies from, from what the government is doing to them. So she calls in DHS against her daughter. Do you know what happens when you call DHS into your family and the mother make a report like that? So what happens when they take the daughter out of the house and put it into some pedophile's house? That's what they do. Or one of these homosexuals' houses. They be, they, let me tell you, these kids be going through hell in these little foster homes. This, and they like that because they know that gives the child a rebellious spirit against the parent. And they never like love the parent again because they blame the parent for them being out there by themselves. They love that, that institutional programming. They love it because the child now have a problem against their parents. That's what they wanted. So she think that she's doing a service. Let me tell you, when you travel abroad, you start to understand a lot of things. Brothers and sisters all over the earth are getting income, they're getting jobs, they're broadening themselves historically. They, they look at, they're going into to museums and different places that they didn't think existed. The only time our people try to go outside the country, probably to the Caribbean or somewhere to get freaked out of their minds or to go someplace to party. They don't mind that. Now, I'm not race baiting here, but if a white person or Chinese person want to go travel abroad, it's no issue at all. They've been doing this for years. They save up their money, they get a nice cushy retirement, and they'll go buy a home in Mexico. They'll go buy a home, uh, get a house built in the Caribbean. Some of them get houses built in South Africa. Some have houses built in Europe. Or they'll, they'll find a nice place that's on the up. And they'll invest their money there and move there and retire there. And no one is saying nothing. And they've been operating like this for years. But if you think global, okay, let me think about doing, setting up a business outside the country because all the jobs have left America anyway. Let me, let me go where there's still some action. Let me go work. These people are not leaving and not working. People are working and using their gifts in other places. What's wrong with that? You know what's wrong with that? Israel is now starting to realize there's life outside of our captivity. Israel is starting to realize that you can go into another country and not be assumed an enemy by walking down the street. You don't have to worry about paid thugs like cops shaking you down and assuming you are a criminal. You don't have to worry about that. You are actually taught like a citizen of the earth. You're respected. Okay? They, you shouldn't feel like that. You should feel dependent on your government. The Most High is taking that dependency off of us so that we can use faith and believe on Him. So I don't want to turn, turn all this into that, but I wanted to put that out there. You got people turning people over the homes, homeland security right now. You have people also turning over their own family to DHS and putting the children in the DHS system because they figure that, okay, if you caught up in the courts, then they'll take your passport and now you can't travel abroad. See, Christ, man, let's get that in Matthew, the 10th chapter, I mean, Matthew 24. Where it talks about that. That that portrayal. Oh, many, many shall portray one another. Read. Uh, St. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 10. Read. And then shall many be offended 
Then shall many shall be offended. So usually something happens that calls an offense. Let me get the word offense so y'all know what we're talking about here. 